Hello everyone I'm and welcome back to Tech Block. Today's video is sponsored by Pooterson. They send over all of this stuff right here. Basically like an entire gaming setup desk. That is very high end. We have 120 times 70 centimeter tabletop right here in white. However, these are also available in different colors. By the way, link in description of course to all of this stuff that they sent over. And then we have the entire desk frame itself which came in this rather heavy box. I think this weighs like 22 kilograms or something. Yeah, this entire desk, the entire desk frame and the tabletop is very high quality. That's kind of why it does cost, you know, considerably more than like your average IKEA Linmon desk. But because it costs significantly more, you can expect a very, very sturdy desk that also has sit-stand technology built in. So it is a height adjustable desk via this electronic like control panel. You can like set profiles and everything, make the desk go up, go down. It's gonna be a good time, but this desk is not staying in the office. Instead, we're gonna be moving it over to the living room, believe it or not. As we happen to have like this weird spot in the living room that I don't really know what to do with. So I thought, why don't we put an entire extra gaming setup there? And perhaps maybe even dedicate that spot to the racing sim sometime in the future as well because there's a decent amount of space there I'm sure we could fit this desk as well as the racing sim which is kind of off camera but it's basically like this entire racing simulator that I built a while ago but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna build this desk move it to the living room and we're basically gonna build a second gaming setup in the living room instead of the second gaming setup being in the office as the desk that I have behind this camera and the desk that I use for like all of the unboxing videos that you see on this channel is like right right over there and what I've kind of done in the past is I did build a gaming setup on here. It was functional, it, you know, it all worked and all. But when it came to me actually wanting to do unboxing videos, I would pretty much have to disassemble that entire gaming setup every single time I, I wanted to do an unboxing video. But instead of me building the second gaming setup in the office, I'm gonna just continue using this as like the desk I use for all my unboxing videos on YouTube. And we're gonna build a second gaming setup in the living room in that spare bit of space that we have that I have no idea what to do with. So I figured, let's build a gaming setup there. But with all that said, I think we should probably get to building this guy as we have like, you know, all of this stuff to put together and actually build a gaming setup on top of. So let's get started. They do of course give you all the required screws, all very well labeled too. Here we have the actual like control units. So up, down, we have three profiles. And then I forget what these two do, but this will show you the height of the desk. And this of course will be plugged in to uh, I think one of the parts here. And they did give me like a European plug. Hopefully this comes with a UK version as well. I like how they actually do give you a converter. So for like every single country, uh, this is the UK version. So what I can do I think is just plug this into that and then this should work for the UK. And then we have the actual table legs himself, of course, very heavy. This desk does of course also come with some very good instructions. Now we have to unbox this massive tabletop here. Hopefully it's like arrived in very good condition because I've ordered tabletops off of Amazon before and every now and again they show up a little bit damaged. So hopefully this one's arrived all good. But by the looks of things that has been packed quite well. All right. All right, so the tabletop came very well packaged, as you can see. Plenty of packaging material on both every single corner of the tabletop, top and bottom. So this is literally arrived like in pristine condition. Now, unlike your typical IKEA Linmon tabletops, this one's actually like a solid bit of wood instead of like some cardboard. So very high quality tabletop here. And you can quite easily tell it's high quality because it is pretty damn heavy. just realized that I made like a little bit of a mistake whilst building this desk. Uh, unfortunately, these pieces right here that are kind of like sticking out, they're meant to be facing this way. So I'm gonna quickly like unscrew these two screws and flip this thing around and hopefully, you know, then it's facing the right direction. Just flip this guy around. 
All right, the next thing to do is to, of course, put the tabletop on top of this desk frame. But uh, what I'm going to do before that is extend the desk frame to, I think, about 110 centimeters, uh, like from here to here. The table legs are going to be far enough apart so they screw into the actual corners of the desk instead of me like screwing them in in this location where there would be probably like a 10 centimeter gap on either side, which is something I don't really want. So I'd much rather have a bit more space in the middle here rather than having the tabletop kind of like stretching out over here, if that makes any sense at all. Anyway, I've mounted like the transmission rod and everything. So I've just pulled everything out ever so slightly. All right, I extended it a little bit and it's measuring at around 115 centimeters. All right, we are finally done building this desk. Everything turned out really good. I don't think I made any mistakes. Let's give you a little bit of a close up to what exactly has been done. So I've stuck, well, I've not really stuck it on. I've actually screwed in the power supply. I've screwed in the controller unit right there. I have tried to cable manage this as best as I can. So luckily this did come with some cable management clips. So I held down these cables, I wrapped them all around. We have this here, this here, and then I put one more just there, just to keep this cable as close to the tabletop as possible. But apart from that, I screwed these two pieces on as well. One thing I'm not entirely sure about is whether or not the desk will actually go up and down. If I did everything correctly, then it should go up and down without any problem. Just before we move this desk to the living room though, I'm thinking I'm gonna probably stick a power strip, like a power extension lead, like a four socket one or a six socket one, depending on what I have available at the moment. I'm just gonna stick one somewhere on the desk here, just so I have easy access to the power sockets here. But once that's stuck on, I think we should be ready to probably move it over to the living room area. And then what I'm gonna do then is probably stick a Philips Hue LED light strip behind this desk as well, just to add a little bit more RGB lighting. And that'll pretty much be it, I believe. Quick update on what we've managed to get done. We have a power strip here, four sockets, but we only have three left after we plug the desk in. We can, of course, stuck some more on here in the future, so not a problem. I also ended up sticking one of the plastic J channels right here just to aid with cable management. So I ran the power supply cable for this desk over and over again through this J channel until it was kind of short enough to just plug into here and, you know, be cable managed all nice. And finally, I ended up finding another Philips Hue LED light strip just in storage. Like I thought I didn't have any more left, but hey, we have one more Philips Hue LED light strip left. So I'm gonna stick one meter of this guy. You know, I'm gonna, of course, cut it to size to around 100 centimeters and stick it on the back of the desk here. It's 2019, your desk kind of has to have at least a little bit of RGB. So we're sticking Philips Hue on the back here as well. So I'm gonna cut it to size right there. There you go. The Philips Hue light strip is indeed attached and it's powered right there as well. Hopefully everything will work in terms of the Philips Hue light strip as I couldn't actually find the original power cable for the light strip, so I just kind of used a random one that I think was actually from like a different LED light strip in the past, but it wasn't Philips Hue. So I don't know if it'll be able to transfer enough power to power Philips Hue, but we're gonna find out once we plug this guy in. I'm kind of tempted to plug it in now, but I'm gonna move it to the living room first, and then we're gonna plug it in. Hopefully it'll work. <laughs> All right, everything's in place. Luckily, uh, the desk itself actually does work, so it can go up and down as you saw earlier. The one problem we do have though is Philips Hue is not working at all. I had like three or four power supplies that I tried out, none of them worked, uh, as they weren't really genuine Philips Hue power supplies. So what I'm gonna do is head over to eBay and see if I can find anyone setting like a Philips Hue power supply that I can hopefully, you know, then power the, the Philips Hue lights with, as the ones that I tried out were like for normal LED light strips, not Philips Hue light strips. So nothing worked. But hopefully in a couple days I can get my hands on like a Philips Hue power supply and then everything's powered, everything will look a little bit better here. But this entire spot in the actual living room, it's so awkward, like it's this random little corner and there's like this ledge here as well. So it's all kind of a bit weird. I had no idea what I wanted to actually place here for so long. Until now, the actual position of the desk isn't confirmed. I kind of feel like maybe moving it towards the window, but then the LED lights will be shining like onto the window and it might be a little bit weird. 
So I don't know if I should do that or not. Maybe once the lights are working, I'll move it from that wall over to the window and see how that looks like. And if neither of those configurations look good in any sort of way, I could always try just putting it flat against that wall there and see how it looks, but that would require me to get rid of the TV stand, which regardless of what's gonna be going on with the desk placement, that TV stand I do need to get rid of and maybe add like a cabinet or something there instead of the TV stand, like a white cabinet that I can just put the routers on top and stuff like that. Cause we don't really need a goddamn TV stand there. <laughs> Boom, amazing gaming setup right here. So it goes from 71 centimeter height Mm, 121. All right, let's play Counter-Strike. Wait, what I'm gonna do is, because you can make some profiles here, I'm gonna set this one to being one. Yeah, because then I think you can just press one or two or three, and it will just like... Oh, I should have set the highest point to number three. I'm gonna have to go back up manually. <laughs> okay, M, one, <laughs> so weird. <laughs> then maybe I could do like number two at like 90. M, two. Oh, this lighting here is like amazing all that. M, three, and if you press one, this is genius. So if you have like three people using this desk, you know, each one of you can have a profile. Yeah, I'm gonna just be here all day just going up and down. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm all right here, I'm all right here. Maybe a little bit lower. Well, I'm trying to find my like perfect height right here for counters, right? This could work. This I feel like it could work. Yeah. Oh god, the sensitivity is like very different and I'm very laggy because I'm playing on 4G. Oh, dude, I've got like 60 ping, but it looks like I have like 400 or something. Legit, N not only am I teleporting, everyone around me is teleporting. It says 46 ping, but this looks horrible. Funny thing is, yeah, I'm doing 7 to 1. Like, actually, playing the Counter-Strike, standing up, <laughs> is very manageable. Like, it just, it feels normal. And it's like the perfect height for me, everything's all good. Like, who needs a chair anyway? Save 300 bucks, don't buy a chair, just, just a table and you're set, mate. All right, the table's now lowering. We have a chair. This is the perfect gaming setup right here. Alright, so as you saw there, I decided to relocate this setup by the window and I think this is a way better location. It looks so nice in the apartment actually, like we got some RGB behind the TV, let me show you. The TV over there has a bunch of Philips Hue LED lights behind it. And then over here, this also has RGB now and it adds so much to the living room I feel like, because this area in the past was kind of empty and I had no idea what to do with it until now. We've put a gaming setup here. And I feel like it looks amazing, especially because it's by the window there and the RGB behind the table there adds a lot to the room, I feel like. At night time, this place is gonna look absolutely sick. Let me give you a bit of a closer look at what exactly we've done here. So we have the Black Widow Elite keyboard here, the Razer Blade, uh, the new 2019 Razer Kraken Ultimate Headphones, Razer Mamba Hyperflux Mouse. Then we have an Auto 4 black and red chair right here as well. Link in description to all of this stuff, of course. Including, of course, the tabletop and desk frame as well from Puderson. And I would like to give a massive thank you to the Puderson company for sending out their tabletop as well as their desk frame for me to build a gaming setup out of it. Genuinely, I am very happy with the quality of the desk, everything about it, and the fact that we've managed to finally put something in this part of the apartment, it makes me very happy. So I'm absolutely thrilled with the setup here. I could see myself genuinely working here a lot of the time instead of working at my office mainly because i feel like when i'm going to be sitting here and during the daytime it's just kind of nice to look outside because we do have a big balcony here and the view out of this apartment is often pretty damn nice the sunsets are always very nice so i feel like having an actual setup here is almost perfect and one more thing just before we end today's video i am going to be making another video about this desk and about this entire setup very soon as puderson did also send me one of their monitor arms and I might be getting a new monitor pretty soon. So the plan here is to actually build like a proper gaming setup here that's not running off of a laptop, but instead have a proper monitor, proper PC, everything legit. So that's pretty much the plan here. And I should be able to get 
most of this setup done, I'm hoping by the end of December. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.